Soybean seeding rates have been our most popular on-farm network trial to date. We started these in 2012 and have had more than 120 trials across Manitoba since. It's very popular. So for these trials, we're typically testing three seeding rates, the farmer's usual practice plus or minus 30,000 seeds per acre. Everything else in the field is kept consistent and it's managed like the rest of the field um, in terms of all the other management practices. Here's an example field. This is a soybean seeding rate trial from last year. Doesn't look like too much, just looks like we're looking at a field. So we'll add some trial boundaries. So these two dotted lines and the holes in the crop canopy that you can see here, that's the 10 feet where we're taking plant counts. We're cutting a representative transect across the field so that if there are any differences, we're comparing apples to apples. And at these seeding rate trials, we take two plant counts. We're flagging and GPSing them so we can revisit those same spots before harvest and see if there's been any mortality over the season of that crop thinning itself over time. Here's the actual strip we're testing. We've got four replicates comparing 150, 180, and 120,000 seeds per acre. We've got the different plant stands of those seeding rates that they've resulted in, and then also their average yield here in the corner for this trial example. So soybeans are incredibly good at branching to fill in any spaces in the crop canopy, and we're really seeing that here with no differences, and each of these resulting in 60 bushel an acre yields. I do want to draw attention to the difference here, though, between the seeds we're putting in the ground and the plant stands that are establishing here, especially at that high seeding rate. So we're seeing a difference of about six to 8,000 uh, seeds to plants at low and medium seeding rates, but then this much bigger drop off at this higher seeding rate. And this is a trend that we see at several trials uh, of these seeding rate trials, where we have lower establishment and more mortality throughout the season at these higher seeding rates. And let's look at that a little bit more with our data. So along the bottom here, we have our different seeding rate ranges, each in uh, 10,000 seeds per acre bundles from 120 to 220,000 seeds per acre. And then what we're showing here are the living plant stands resulting from those different seeding rates at early V stages in the light color. And on the left and in the darker color, that is at R stages later in the season, closer to harvest on the right. So on average, 81% of seeds establish a living plant stand at those early V stages, and 76% of those plants are surviving to harvest at R stages. So we're typically losing about 5% of plants from the crop competing with itself and thinning itself out. But if we break that down a little bit more, seeding rates of 120 to 140,000 seeds per acre on the left, on average, we're seeing 86% establish and 3% die off during the season. For 150 to 170,000 seeds per acre, 83% are establishing with 4% dying off. 180 to 200,000 seeds per acre, and we see 80% establishment and 4% mortality. Then with these seeding rates above 200,000 seeds per acre, that's really where we see it drop off with 77% establishment and 8% of plants dying off during the growing season. So we typically see lower percent establishment and more mortality as these seeding rates are increasing. What does that mean for actual living plant stands we're seeing in the field? From extensive small plot research in Manitoba, we know that soybean yield is maximized at 140 to 160,000 living plants per acre, highlighted here in orange. On average, we need about 170 to 190,000 seeds per acre to achieve that living plant stand based on our data. But on the other hand, highlighted in blue, 120 to 140,000 plants per acre is still within 95% of maximum soybean yield in that research, and we are consistently getting plant stands in that range with seeding rates of 150 to 160,000 seeds per acre. So keep this in mind as we move to the yields of these different seeding rates. And here is the average yield for each of those different seeding rates. There's really nothing much emerging in terms of a yield to seeding rate relationship here. But we've ran multiple comparisons and we can say that seeding rates of 150 to 190,000 seeds per acre have maintained soybean yield while minimizing soybean seed cost. And this makes sense considering these are those seeding rates that are getting us to those target plant stands. Highlighted now are specifically the yield averages where there's been more than 20 trials tested in these different seeding rates. So we have a lot of confidence in these different comparisons. If we compare these seeding rates of 150 to 190,000 seeds per acre to this lower seeding rate of 130,000 seeds, and we're assuming a $68 per unit cost and soybeans are selling for about $14, what we're seeing on average 
is these yield increases are large enough to more than pay for the increased seed cost and improve profitability by $20 to $80 an acre, with the greatest return occurring at $150 to $180,000, uh, or sorry, $150 or $180,000 seeds per acre. So there's an economic benefit to maintaining at least 150,000 seeds per acre of a seeding rate, especially what, since we do end up with a little bit more resilient plant stand at the end of the day compared to dropping that seeding rate lower. Over 120 trials in 12 years, in summary, 88% of the time reducing that soybean seeding rate by 30,000 seeds per acre from a farmer's traditional practice has not significantly changed soybean yield. But to fine tune this decision on your farm, evaluate living plant stands in your fields. Are there areas on your farm where you can improve plant establishment of the seeds you're putting in the ground? It could be things like seed depth or looking at seed depth across your drill, residue management and distribution, soil temperatures or moisture at seeding, among all kinds of other things you can dive into. But it all starts with really evaluating that living plant stand and relating it back to your seeding rate and understanding those dynamics of what's going on on your farm.